Hey 3B! So this week you're going to be doing different writing pieces each day depending on the different writing prompts for Monday to Friday and then after you finish that piece each day I'd like you to go through and revise and edit it. And I know sometimes we confuse what revise and edit means and we might forget certain elements of what revise and edit include. So in this video I'm going to walk you through taking one of my writing pieces and how I will revise it and edit it. So let's start by revising. So revising is when we're going to read our writing out loud to make sure it sounds the way we want. You could have a family member in your house read it out loud. Make sure there's not any parts that aren't clear or don't make sense. Um, you can add in descriptive words to help the readers to imagine what you're writing about. And you can circle words that you want um, to add more details in your next draft. So let's take a look. I've got my first draft here and then I'm going to make some revisions. So let's take a look at what I did here. So it says, once upon a time in an ocean far, far away, there lived a fish named Clownfish. And I've decided I want to add a bit more. I want to describe the fish. So I'm gonna add more information there later. It says, Clownfish loved spending his day eating plankton nestled in his comfortable coral home. And then when I was revising, I changed the word eating to munching to make it sound more interesting. And that really helps the reader even imagine the sounds of him eating. And then I added well nestled so that it made a bit more sense. One day, a shark swam up to little clownfish's home and begged clownfish to come outside. So I've added some more description in my revision. You can see I have a shark swam up. I've added a shark with teeth the size of kitchen knives swam up. So I've given some more information there. So then this would be my piece with some revisions. After you've revised and done those things, then I'd like you to edit. So editing is where we fix spelling. You make sure the sentences are complete. You add capitals where you need to. So at the beginning of sentences and the names of places or things and check for correct punctuation. So make sure you use quotation marks when characters are speaking and then marks at the end of the sentences. So here I've got my writing piece and let's take a look at how I edited. So at first I had, so clownfish swim as slowly as a seahorse. First of all, it doesn't sound right. So clownfish swim as slowly as a seahorse. I need to change swim to swam. So I did that. And I know clownfish is a name. So I've added a capital C and F to make that a, a proper noun, give those capital letters. As a seahorse up out of the coral to face the three menacing sharks. I'm not going to be that picky grade threes as long as you're using grade three spelling. But when I looked up the grown-up spelling of menacing, then I've put it on top there. I've figured out the exact way to spell menacing. Again, as long as you're putting all the sounds you know, I'm going to say that's good enough for this week. Because um, a grown-up might not necessarily be helping you to edit these. Come follow me, Clownfish said. So I made sure before I had an added quotation mark. So I've added those. And um, I wrote timidly. He could feel his scales tremble with fear, but he stayed strong. So I've added a period after timidly because I forgot to add punctuation there. That was the end of a sentence. And then I added a capital H for the beginning of the sentence. And then I decided to add the grown-up spelling of scales. And then that would be my writing now that it's edited. So now that you've watched me do that, I'd like you to do the same in your writing pieces this week. So when you finish a piece, I'd like you to go through, do that revision process, make sure it sounds right, add things where you think you need to, change things so they sound just right and make sense, and then make sure you edit for all those conventions, the capitals and periods, all those important things that help our readers to really enjoy what we've written. Happy writing, grade threes. Bye.